Hello, welcome to Rugby TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Mohamed Abotrika, El Majiko, Arab Zidin, and Amir Ekolo, Prince of Hearts, are among a few of the nicknames given to a man that is often regarded as one of the greatest African footballers of all time, playing the position of an attacking midfielder and a second striker. Mohamed Abotrika was born on the 7th of November 1978 in Nahia. Giza, Egypt. He started out his football career at his hometown club, Tasana, where he eventually signed a professional contract in 1997. In the seven years he played for the club, he scored a total of 91 goals in 142 matches. In 2004, he played for the Egyptian club, Al Hali, in the Egyptian Premier League and also for the Egypt national team. Aside from being regarded as one of the greatest African footballers of all time, he is also considered the best midfielder in the Egyptian football history. He holds a record for winning the most Africa Best Player of the Year title, an award given to only African based players, which he won four times in 2006, 2008, 2012, and 2013. He also won the second place in the African Footballer of the Year Awards in 2008, where Imani Adebayo was crowned, and he was one of the nominees for the award in 2006 and 2013. When he was nominated in 2006, for CAF's African Footballer of the Year Award, he was nominated along with players like DJ Drogba from Chelsea, Samuel Eto'o from Barcelona, AC Milan's Maki Essien, and Nigeria's Kanu Mwanko. He was the only player based in Africa of all those that were nominated. He won second place and was given the Best Interclub Player and Best Player in the CAF's Champions League Awards. In 2007, with his club, Al Hali, he won the Egyptian Premier League for the third successive season, where he scored seven goals for his team. In the same year, the team won the Egypt Cup for the second consecutive time and he was the top goal scorer in the competition, scoring a total of four goals. In the African Champions League that same year, he scored four goals for his team, bringing his African goals to a count of 15. Also, in 2007, he won the best player in Egypt for the fourth year in a row. He won it first in 2004 and continued the winning streak till 2007. In the African Cup of Nations in 2008, he scored the winning goal that helped Egypt go home with the trophy that year. And in 2006, with his help, Al Hali won the bronze medal in the FIFA Club World Cup. In 2013, he crossed over to Banias SC on a loan, helping the Emirati team win the Gulf Champions League by scoring in the semi-final and final matches. He eventually returned to Al Hali to help them retain their title. On December 5th, 2013, CAF named him among the list of their 10 nominees for the 2013 Player of the Year Award. On the 28th of December, he announced his retirement from football when Egypt didn't qualify for the 2014 FIFA World Cup that was to take place in Brazil. Abu Trika is not just a footballer, he is also a graduate of the University of Cairo, where he got a Bachelor of Arts degree in Philosophy. He is also married and a father of twins. Abu Trika is not just a player who played for the accolades. This is evident in 2006 when he won the title of African Champions League for Al Hali. He made a speech that had a resounding effect on the media and several people. In fact, the media dubbed it Declaration of the Year. What happened was that newspaper reporters praised him for the goal he scored, which was responsible for the team winning the tournament. But he said, We need to stop this habit of praising a definite player. It isn't Abutrika who got the cup, but the whole team. Without the others' efforts, I can't ever make anything. Football is a game played by many players. It isn't tennis or squash. A declaration indeed. With his status as a well recognized footballer in Africa, he got very involved in humanitarianism. He joined the UNDP Goodwill Ambassadors with Ronaldo, Zinedine Zidane, and 40 other international football players in 2005 for a match against poverty in Germany to raise funds and awareness about poverty and he scored a goal in that match. He is also a WFP ambassador against hunger because he believes that poverty is a double-edged sword as it can either give rise to feelings of despair or help the poor person to persevere and be determined. He was also a huge sympathizer for Gaza after scoring a goal in Egypt's match against Sudan in 2008 African Cup of Nations. He wore a t-shirt under his jersey that read, Sympathize with Gaza, breaking FIFA's rule against displaying any kind of political slogan during the game. His protest was against the 10-day blockade of Gaza by Israel. He got a yellow card for that and was set to face possible sanctions, although CAF eventually let it go and made no punishment. In 2015, his assets were frozen because he had shares in a company whose manager was allegedly a Muslim Brotherhood. 
He denied any involvement with the Muslim Brotherhood, but his appeals were rejected. The administrative court overturned the verdicts in June 2016. What's the take on Abutuka as an African footballer? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.